right, everybody. Welcome back. It is I, Sean, the American in Krakow, riding his motorcycle, and we're off to another breakfast adventure. This time we are going to a place just on the edge of Kashmir, over the bridge, called Rani Ptashek, I believe. Again, you have to forgive my pronunciation because I am terrible. But, uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of, I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. And, uh, I also got a direct recommendation from a friend. So, I'm definitely going to go check it out. Again, never been there. Ooh, a little wet spot there. Let's take it easy. There we go. Um, never been there. And, uh, yeah, using Google again. So, I'm not 100% if it's going to get me there. Because that side of the road is under construction. And it's tell telling me to go that way. So, we will figure it out. Hopefully, with no issues. Also, I received a bit of feedback, uh, especially on these like breakfast runs or food runs, that um, I should take some video, include some video, B-roll or something of the breakfast of the food I'm eating in the restaurant. But I'm quite nervous about taking cameras in restaurants and places in public like that. Not public, but like places like that where people are just kind of like on their own eating or just eating in private. And I don't know. I, I feel uncomfortable with that. But I do take a lot of photos of the food that I eat. So what I'm going to try and do is always include um, some photos of the food, some photos of the place, maybe the exterior. Uh, you know, set it to some music and, and insert it in the uh, video. And then try to maybe talk a little bit about the food after I leave. So, or the experience or the place. So some feedback I received. I'm going to go ahead and try to do that going forward. I'll start with that today, and we'll see how it goes. Another thing that I've been ad, uh, advised to do is, as I kind of put a link to my Insta at the end of every video and at the beginning of every video, um, I should kind of do the same in my Insta kind of put a link or like somehow direct people to my YouTube channel. I'm not even sure how to do that. Like, do I just put it in the description? Do people look at descriptions like that? I, I don't tend to look at the full um, description of an image like that when I look on Instagram. So I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so... If uh, anyone has some feedback or comments on what would be the most effective way to me, for me to kind of put my YouTube channel on Instagram, I would be very welcome for the feedback. That's another thing too. I'm very open to feedback. Um, you know, I'm new to this. I'm trying to figure it out. And, you know, any feedback, good or bad, I will listen and, and you know, try to understand what I can do to make it better because uh, I like doing it and uh, I hope I find a way to do it so other people like seeing me do it but we'll see We're, again it's all a learning process Uh, the road, I, I assume, I've only seen the road go to the left because of the construction. But this is telling me to go straight. And uh, we're going to find out if that's an option. I, I didn't think it was. Like, I see, yeah, there's a road closure sign. Literally right in front of our face. But... 
I'm gonna have to you know what There's no way I'm figuring it out how to get through there without doing this. Once I get there, maybe I'll find an alternative route. But, and look, I, oh, I guess, okay. I guess I could have went left and then turned where this nuns turned. Yes, those are nuns, driving nuns. Okay, so the road does close here and force me further, right? Okay, okay. I see how this is working. And it should be, oh, here it is. And I'm going to park right up here on this nice, big, ginormous sidewalk. And hopefully nobody yells at me, like the other day. Anyway, guys, so that was the ride. I will try to get some B-roll photos of the food and, and the place. And then I'll pick you guys up uh, when I'm done eating. Talk to you guys later. Peace. All right, everybody. Welcome back. As you would have seen from the photos I hopefully inserted in post, uh, I just had breakfast at Rani Ptashek, I guess is how it's pronounced. Again, my pronunciation is absolutely terrible. But the breakfast was great. Really cool place, cool vibe. Uh, very small, mostly outdoor seating. Actually, let me see if I can't turn around and at least get a... Yeah, that's it right there across the street. Um, so, you see... Little people, little tables outside, a few seats inside. Um, it's a self-service type place. You, you you order at the bar, you pay up front, and then you uh, they'll call your number and you go back and you pick up your your food. Um, might be because of the pandemic, probably, or you never know. It's a small place, so that might just be standard operating procedure for them. Anyway, I had a flat white as I always do when I get my breakfast and something called I want to call it a shakshoka and I'll try to insert a uh, a picture of the menu with the name and description of what I ordered but basically it was like a loosely based salsa like tomatoes, parsley, onions, uh, peppers, things like that with one uh, fried egg, soft fried I guess so the yolk was still runny and two like really s warm and soft full off bre pita breads um pita breads and it was phenomenal um very well seasoned you know the bread the, the bread was amazing it also came with like a little bit of a starter i want to say it was like some kind of pickled <sighs> cabbage maybe i don't know i think it was like a pickled cabbage with um with um oh man what is the the hummus like their own homemade version of a hummus on the side and you eat that while you're waiting for your for the rest of your main meal to show up and it was that was also really good my only concern is the pickled cabbage i guess is in like a very runny purple uh kind of vinegar or vinaigrette uh to give it that kind of acid and that bite but it's very runny so my big fear is especially with knowing me and how i eat i would end up with purple stains all over my clothing so um a little nervous there with that i was careful i, I don't think i made a mess i also smartly wore a very dark shirt so <laughs> um no issues there for me anyway 
Uh, you might see I'm punching it into the GPS there. Uh, I'm going to head over to my buddy's shop again. We're the same place where I did get my levers. I, the lever is here. Um, super happy with it. I've talked about it in some other videos. But I don't think I ever followed up with the actual, oh, I finally got it and installed it part. So I apologize for that. Um, I love them. But yeah, I'm off to the shop again because I think I'm going to buy a new helmet. Uh, I'm not really happy with the, the, the noise in this helmet anymore since putting in the communicator. And uh, I'm going to end up, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to try and get a quieter helmet. Uh, hopefully something as light as this or close to as light as this. But uh, definitely needed to be uh, quieter. Because at highway speeds, it's, it's too much. And I know I, can, I should wear plugs. Um, and sometimes I do. Like when I'm going on longer trips, like when I go to visit my kids or something like that, and I know I'm going to be on the highway for an extended period of time, I will, go ahead, go ahead, man, um, I will put in the plugs, but just for hopping around Krakow and, and, you know, just being out here, I don't know, um, yeah, it's not... Rocking plugs isn't something I would normally do. So, we're going to check out the helmet. Or, a uh, helmet. There's a very high probability I'm probably going to go back to the Shoei with the NXR. Probably. Uh, because they, one, it's a super comfortable helmet. It was just my fault. I... I purchased the wrong size, so it was a little too big, and I got a lot of cold drafts in on the in the cooler weather. Um, but most importantly, they do a photochromatic visor, and honestly, after wearing that helmet and for for as long as I have, and not having to worry about carrying a clear visor and a tinted visor for the time of the day that you're riding. I forgot how, like, annoying that is. The only uh, other option, or no, the only uh, request or concern, request, I guess, would be if Shoei does it in the same kind of matte, deep blue that they did last year's uh, Neotech Air, I believe, was the helmet that came in that color. Because if so, I want it in that color because that would go with my bike so well. I'm such a princess. My gear has to match my bike. But it's all bikers, I think, to some extent. Well, I, most bikers. You know, you see them, they buy their leathers to match their bike as much as possible, so I'm not unique here. But yeah, we're going to give it a go. Hit the shop, see what they've got. If they got something in stock, I'll pick it up. If not... We can order. Anybody coming? Nope. It's always tough with that one because it's a pedestrian crosswalk there. And bikers use it. Cyclists use it. And with that, like with the shrubs and stuff there, it's hard to see. And you know, those guys. They move at a pace, so you never know. It's better to be safe than sorry. I would hate to be smacked up by a dude on a motorcycle if I was ever riding a bicycle. That would suck. That happened again. This is the second time today I've missed that shift. Ooh! That got a little squirrely there! I wonder if I, uh... I'm gonna... have to review the... footage on that one. I don't... think there was any moisture on the road there, or... I mean, I, yeah, it was one of the white... 
paint spots, but those things aren't usually terrible when they're dry and it's a nice day. It's been in the sun all morning, so I mean, it could be. It, it could be. Could be a little sand on it or something, but that was just a yeah, yeah, a little squirrely. It's like, hey, let's go for a dance, buddy. I'm like, no, I don't want to dance. I'm on my bike. I'm not wearing my dancing shoes. I'm always wearing my dancing shoes. I dance my, I'm dancing on the bike most of the time. Especially when I was like stuck in long, boring, straights, nothing happening. I'll put it in cruise control and go off on a dance. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, okay. I don't know which way this thing is taking me. Got it, got it, got it. For a minute, I wasn't sure where we were going. Like, did I accidentally put in another breakfast spot? <laughs> it's very possible with me. You never know. Like, I could use a waffle. That was a great breakfast, but now I need the sweet one. <laughs> That's not the case. Uh, I'm going the right way. I'm not a complete moron. Most of the time. Definitely the right way. So I'm definitely going to get a helmet. Uh, as long as something's in stock, I'm definitely picking up a helmet today because this, the noise is just irritating. It's just, it, it really is just a bit too much. Like I'm hearing it right now and I'm not even going that fast. And the worst part is because it's coming in from the communicator port, it means it, the wind is going directly up into my left ear. So it probably could be a bit quieter if it was coming in somewhere else or maybe not so annoying but it is literally shooting right into my left ear so it's way louder than it needs to be and it's an unbalanced noise maybe if I was having it the same on both sides I wouldn't notice it as much or I would just say okay the helmet is you know this is the helmet but because it's really coming in on one ear it's so much more no noticeable it's weird. I did a ride out on an Indian chieftain, I believe, and I was in on it on the stock, stock uh, windscreen, and it was absolutely atrocious for me. Um, at the low, at the low speeds, it was fine, but once I got on the highway and I had the visor up. Man, it literally hit the wind directly into my helmet. And it was just this constant beating on my head. So, this was not nice. It was very uncomfortable. But if it was a taller screen, it would have been perfect. So, like I said, it's just got to be set for you. Anyway, we're here. Um, I'll probably get some photos of the bikes or the bikes. <laughs> I wish I was buying a bike. Hey, this is my buddy's new bike. The 790 Adventure. This thing is sick. I want one. I don't know if I want an adventure. Maybe a 790 Duke or an 890. But this thing is sick. I'm going to get him to give me, let me take it out for a test ride one day. Not today. But uh, yeah, it's going to happen. Anyway, 
I'll get some photos of the helmets I check out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Welcome back, guys. And as you can see, I have a new helmet. And it's not blue. It's orange and green. But you know what? I love it. There's something about this rhinoceros on it that just reminds me of uh, Rocksteady from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and I had to have it. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is. It's the showy Spirit 3. So it's a little bit more of a track design helmet. Um, which means it's going to have a ton of ventilation, which is important to me. As you can see, I've got it with the photochromatic, or you can't tell, but that's actually a photochromatic visor. So it's a clear visor that turns dark in the sunlight. I've got my pin lock already on it. The only reason I'm not wearing it is because I've got my communicator on this one and my camera on this one. So I'm going to need to pick up another GoPro mount and get that sorted off today so I can start riding in it. But anyway, I wanted to make sure I was able to share that with you guys because I know the last time I bought something here, I ran out of battery and wasn't able to finish up the video for you guys. Left you guys hanging. Get that feedback. So I felt bad. Figure I would uh, take care of that right now. Anyway, so we're off now. We're going to uh, the shop to get the GoPro mounts, actually. Um, so I can get this helmet set up today. And start riding with it as soon as possible. <laughs>